talk about the preference. In this video, we will talk about the find replace or tool of Alteryx, which is under join tab. And uh, uh, this works uh, like uh, the lookup functions that we have uh, in uh, Excel spreadsheet. And uh, this is the lookup function uh, in Alteryx. So uh, uh, using this tool, we can uh, search for a particular string in one field. And uh, using that uh, field, uh, using that string uh, value, we can uh, search uh, in another data set. And uh, uh, um, based on this search, we can either uh, replace uh, the existing field, replace the value in the existing field, or add a uh, new field uh, to the uh, existing uh, data set. So uh, remember, uh, this works only with the string uh, data type. And if we have uh, numeric uh, value or uh, date uh, type uh, in our data set and we want to use this uh, tool for that, then we have to first convert uh, this numeric or uh, date uh, to string data type and use this uh, tool. So how do we do that? Uh, let's get started and see. So I've already dragged the find replace uh, tool here and uh, now uh, we will drag input. So it has uh, two input anchors and one output anchor. So we will use two input anchors and uh, we will use a file. I have already uh, created uh, two files, one called uh, find and one called replace uh, for uh, ease of understanding. So we will input this file. And in find, we have row ID, order ID, order date, ship date. And uh, we'll import, let's replace. So we have imported these two data sets. Here we have uh, uh, four columns. They can be more. Uh, just uh, so that it is uh, easy to look at, I have only used this small data set. And here I have many values. So let's see, while configuring, what are the issues we are getting. So uh, for, in, and we have, uh, uh, for finding we have three options. There is beginning of field, any field, any part of field, and entire field. If we want the exact match, uh, from uh, start to end, then we can use entire field or we want any part of uh, the field should match, then we can use this any part of field or we want uh, the beginning uh, part, suppose uh, first name, last name, uh, it is combined in the, one of the fields and we uh, want only the, uh, want to match only the first name, we are not bother, the, bother about the rest of the things, only some part uh, matches, then it should search, then we can use. Uh, this option. So when we are using, uh, so let's select any part of uh, field uh, for example. So when we are trying to configure, we are seeing only this order ID because this is the only field that is in uh, uh, text type uh, or data type uh, currently. And uh, in uh, find value, in the find, uh, replace or data set that we have imported, we can, we can see only order ID and return. So both of them are in string. So now, uh, uh, for example, we have all these fields and we want to search uh, using the order date or ship date or even row ID. So what we can do is we can convert uh, those uh, fields uh, to string type. So we can use this multi-field formula or we can also use the formula tool. So let's use this uh, multi-field formula and uh, here we can select uh, which uh, type of field that we want to convert. And here if you select text, we have already order ID. So we don't need to change that because this works only with string type. And numeric, we have row ID. So let's uh, convert this numeric and uh, here I will select change output type to let's say vstring and here we have to give one expression. So let's say to 
string and uh, we'll write the expression and the sorry and the we'll say current field and we'll close it Uh, I said there is a mistake in writing the expression. It has to be inside the square brackets. Okay, and now when we are trying to configure, we can see the row ID as well. Okay, and so this is how we can convert a numeric or date and uh, so that we can use in this uh, find replace tool. And now what we can do is, so we are searching with the row ID and uh, here we don't have row ID yet. So we have to use the same tool we can copy and paste and just drag it here and uh, here also we have a row id and uh, we are converting it and now we are trying to configure we will see the row id here so what we can do is here it says replace font text with value so instead of that what we can do is append and uh, which column we want to append so we will say return so wherever this row id will match it will add uh, this return uh, whatever value that is in the return field so return field we have yes 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 and uh, this value will be added uh, to or the here we have row id order id order date ship date and that additional field will be added here so let's run this and test how it works so in the output anchor we see this return so as we have all value as yes so we cannot really validate it so let's do one thing let's change this uh, field let's say I want to see order ID. So let's rerun it. And now, so this row ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we are matching with this. And here, the order ID is different. One, this here, 1, 5, 2, 1, 5, 6. And here, uh, in uh, row ID, in this data set, the order ID is. 100762 the last six digits so let's see let's match it so here one and here is 100762 and here for one the order id is 156 so this is how the tool works friend so hope uh, this is helpful thank you for watching